I went through on, on my worst enemy, because uh, it's tough. When you almost, when it's almost over, when you see the tunnel. I saw the tunnel, I didn't see the light. It was hot in that tunnel too, I don't know where I was going. Am I going to the right place? <laughs> I just seen the devil going, come on. But the Lord have mercy Jesus of it all was when we were in Chicago and I was trying to get myself together and no one knew where I was. No one knew what was going on and I had to go to this facility so I could work out a little bit. And the black lady that was checking me in because I had my face covered because I didn't, you know, I didn't want nobody to know. And uh, at one point, she says, well, baby, I'm going to have to see your face if I'm going to have to sign you in here. <laughs> and I took the mask down, and she saw me. She said, Lord, she said, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. I've been praying for you. And I said, wow. And I knew that gave me an indication that once I did get out of all of this, I was going to be all right because I was going to see. I was going to see. Wow. wow. That was powerful. Yeah. What's your thoughts, man? What y'all think? I feel like God's doing something with Jamie. Yeah. I don't know if he's done yet, but he's doing something because I, I, this is one thing I know about him. I know some um, promoters, movie promoters. And when, I can't remember the name of the movie. He, it was like a, not the recent one he yeah. did in the courtroom, but it was another one he did with Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, 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 I remember that. And she, the lady, the promoter goes to my church, and she was like, we asked all the stars of the movie who wants to go talk to churches. And everybody was like, nah, 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 we good. <laughs> but Jamie was like, I'll do it. I yeah, want to do it. Yeah. And there's something about it, man. He's, he has some attachment to God that is is just clear. I think it's he's clear. a church kid, too. He must be. He must be because yeah. he, he he's drawn to it. Um. I just I pray that this whole situation yeah it doesn't go to waste yeah it's a hard situation yeah for him, yeah yeah but I don't want it yeah. to be wasted that he doesn't click in and have that yeah. same Daddy Yankee experience like no yeah. I got to go all in now yeah and I, and I so think, hopefully yeah. that's coming I right. think I, yeah I, I hope so too man and I pray Lord because I remember him talking like um, years ago when they was talking about he was doing um, Django and Chain and they and they had like a hard scene that they had to get through and he started singing No Weapon. And it like mm -hmm. tore up the the whole place. It's just bawling yeah. and crying and emotional. So he know what time it is. I think a lot of people know what time know it, is. What it is. But you gotta they go just, all in. They just don't want to get on that that train. Like they scared yeah. to get on that that bus because they fear that what they got is better than maybe what God has. Well, or them. what Big Bree said earlier yeah. is you think you could do both. You yeah. think you could straddle the fence. Yeah. As long all as right. you talk about God a little bit. Yeah. It cancels out the stuff you're doing that yeah. you know ain't right. Yeah. You know? Right. And now nah, you got you got to jump over the fence. Yeah. You got to go. And to be and to be, I would say this: to be fair to them, it's one of those. I, I think it's easy for us to say that mm -hmm. when when we walk outside, it's not a bunch of cameras waiting for us. Yeah, yeah. And seeing and people watching what we do twenty four seven. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like I mean, only people that's really got an eye eye on us is the Lord. Like that that's that we just don't know about. I mean, there's other people probably watching we don't know either, mm -hmm. but. Just to live your life where you walking outside and they'll be like, oh, is that, is that Jimmy Fox? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that could be something that you may like and it be something that you may hate. You know what I'm saying? And that's hard to live out your walk with um, in front of cameras yeah. when people start asking you those tough questions. So what do you think about this now? Yeah. Are you a Christian? So you think about that? What do you, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying it's, it's, it's not an excuse. I'm just saying for some people it could be like, God, how do I do this? This right. is, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think because sometimes we as Christians can be like, man, just get over here. And they'd be like. Well, well, one thing you said made me think. Uh, for a lot of people, they may be the best Christians they know. Yeah. He may think he's killing it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And we're like, oh, you got to go all the way. You got to yeah. go all the way. And yeah. it's like, what's all the way? I don't yeah. Know. Who, who's all the way? <laughs> yeah. Everybody I know. I'm, best, I'm the best Christian <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think that's kind of where it comes. Like, that's why discipleship matters is because yeah. you, you don't know what to do until you see it. Yeah. Right. right? I mean, that's in the Bible. Like, how are they going to know unless somebody goes and yeah. tells them, you know, yeah. and it takes people to stand up and be legit all the way through 100 percent, not fake in front of anybody. Yeah. All right. And to say, no, this is this is what he's really yeah. asking you to do. If you do it, you could save millions of people, Jamie. Like, yeah. seriously, you can save millions of people if you went all the way in. This is what it looks like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But 
I don't like who's I don't know who's in his life that could do that. Yeah, yeah, and I think I think at times, and this is kind of sad to say, I think so many celebrities go to celebrity pastors. Yeah, Jesus. And I yeah. think that's probably where, because I think I remember one time years ago, and I'm gonna say the pastor. Um, DMX was asking somebody like, "Yo, man, what do I do? I want, I want to give it all up. I give it all up." And the pastor was like, "You could do. You could still do music and love God. You can, but not like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, they didn't give that person. That was the time for truth. And yeah, that person. Then yeah. they just let him continue to go in the direction he was. So yeah. yeah. yeah.